Hi, Sagittarius. Kaisha here. Happy birthday, by the way. Um, if your birthday is today, happy, happy birthday. And if you are Sagittarius and your birthday is this month, happy birthday to you. So thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers. All of my new subscribers, thank you. You are very much appreciated. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So this is just a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your sun or moon rising. That may help you to connect the dots. Or there is a possibility that this just may not be your reading today and that's cool. Just click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Also, I, I was having a promotion last week where when you booked me for a full in-depth reading, I would throw in three programs. That promotion is now over, but still you feel free to book me for a mini reading or a full in-depth reading. It's up to you, whatever you're looking for. The link for that is at the beginning of my description box. I do have a challenge um, right now, I guess a, a challenge where when you follow me on Instagram, I am giving away a free reading. So if you just leave a butterfly in the comments of any post, I will randomly pick someone for a full reading. So this is just a, a thank you, you know, thank you so much for the love on this channel. Okay, Saggy, so cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And I have here, Door to Romance. King of Wands in Reverse. Ten of water, seven of coins, death and rebirth. Hmm. You may have been dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could have been dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Or you could have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so it looks like, Sagis, you are in love with somebody. Mm -hmm. You are very, very much in love with someone. But you realize that this person was full of shit and they were not right for you. So it looks like this person, you would be on and off with them because they are the Knight of Wands. This is the player. Right? You were in love with a player. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing, I think it's T-Pain. I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, Sagittarius. So it's just, it's just to emphasize the fact that now I'm hearing you can't, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So it looks like, Sagis, you were dealing with an energy that was very in and out, very player type, always had a few people on the roster, few people in the background, mm -hmm. few people on rotation. And you started to see that. You realized the truth of it. And it was a hard pill to swallow, but you saw the truth of it. Mm -hmm. You started to realize who this person really was and how they really were. Now, this person... I'm hearing uh, you let this person back in for the last time. Yeah. So for some of you, this is a wrap for you and this person. You're not going back with them. Yeah. You called it quits and that's it. That You're serious this time. You're, you're serious, serious this time. Because it looks like this person came back around for another go, Sagis. Came in whispering sweet nothings. I want another chance. I love you. I made a mistake. Let's do this again. Let's do this work on things and make things better. But this person, they were just chatting shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk a whole bunch of shit. No action to back up what they're saying. Mm -hmm. This person could have been a compulsive pathological liar. Yeah. And they're also very selfish. A very... um. Picking up like a jealous energy. So the Sagis, for some of you, you're dealing with someone who 
they just wanted you because of the benefits that you provided or if anything was going good in your life, they wanted to be a part of it because they would get to benefit from it. But this was not someone who was very generous. This was not somebody who was very caring, very compassionate, empathetic. This was also someone who liked to gossip. So this person would either talk about you to other people or let other people feel comfortable enough to talk shit about you to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you worked so hard. You worked your ass off to, to keep this relationship going. And I can feel it. It's very... You were fucking exhausted, Sagittarius. Exhausted dealing with this person. Mm -hmm. You did everything. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing somebody who is holding up a heavy ass bridge. You had to do it all by yourself. You were the one who was putting in the effort, the time, the energy into keeping this relationship going. This person was just on some fuck shit. Whatever. One minute I'm here, the next minute I'm not. One minute we're together, the next minute we're not. Mm -hmm. And you started to see that it didn't matter what you did or how hard you worked to keep the relationship together. You were not going to get what you wanted with this person. You were not going to be happy. It was just going to be a waste of your damn time, energy, effort, everything. You started to realize that what you put into this relationship, you were not going to get back out. And you were just wasting. It was a waste. Yes. Because all the work you put in, you were still not happy with this person. And this person is also someone who's not happy inside. They're not satisfied. They're not happy with themselves. So they weren't going to be happy with you. This is someone who's... They're low-key miserable. So they may put on this front that they're all happy and everything's good with them. But inside, they're fucking miserable. They're not happy with their life. They're not happy with themselves. You also worked hard, though. You worked hard, Sagittarius, to create a new beginning for yourself and let this go. Because it wasn't easy for you to get to this place where you could let this go. Because I can feel the tie. I can feel the karmic tie, the cord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, energetically, this person had you wrapped around their finger. Yeah. Oh, boy. They had you wrapped around their finger. Yeah. And they had you wrapped around their middle finger because they were just fucking you over. This person would just tell they were a liar and a cheater. I'm hearing deceptive. But you realize that you weren't going to have a new beginning with this person. You're going to have a new beginning with yourself. Because this was just a whole bunch of waste. For some of you, you have a child or children with this person. And they did not show up. They did nothing. This person was lazy. Yes, very lazy. Didn't like to work. Didn't like to do anything. They just sat on their ass and expected you to do everything. Take care of the kids. Work. Bring it, bring home the money, take care of the bills, and they did nothing. This person had no ambition. They had no plans for their life. They were not responsible. They were not dependable. They were not reliable. You couldn't even rely on them to do little simple things, like pack the kids' lunch. They would expect you to do that. Well, they did nothing. Hmm. It's like uh, this energy... They had a lot of energy. So when it came to doing the right thing and, and doing good by you, Sagis, this person, they just couldn't get it together. But when it came to doing stupid foolishness, like fucking around on you and not doing anything, not carrying their weight, they had the most energy for. Mm -hmm. This person, they were not a good example. This person was not on their best behavior. This was someone who was not trying to be their best self. This was someone who was on their worst behavior. Mm -hmm. Worst behavior. As we have here, yin and yang in reverse. Abundance in reverse. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. And six of air. So Sagittarius, your guidance from spirit is to make moves for yourself. You, you know what the solution is to the situation. Mm-hmm. Some of you are still with this person because you love them, but you know what's up with them already. Mm -hmm. And it is a, it's an energetic cord. 
right? If this person has just tied you energetically, but you starting to love yourself and realizing your worth and what you deserve, the cord begins to dissolve, right? Because that the energy can't hold that anymore because it doesn't match. So Spirit wants you to realize that there is a solution to your problems. There is a solution to the lack of abundance in your life. And it is to make some moves. Mm -hmm. Make some moves away from this person. Make moves towards the things that you want. Figure out what you want in your life and what abundance is for you. And make moves towards that. If you have to sit down and write some things down or do, go within and do a meditation and just get quiet. Maybe take some time to yourself to really figure out what it is you want for yourself. Spirit is telling you to do that. Because there is clarity that wants to come in for you. Sagis, there is a, there's guidance that wants to come in. There's messages from upstairs that wants to come in to help you to resolve your issues. To help you to deal with your um, abundance, your resources. For some of you, you spent a lot of money on this person. You wasted a lot of money with this person. Because mm -hmm. this person didn't help you. Uh, some of you, this person put you in a lot of debt. Yeah, a lot of debt. And now it's for you to recoup those finances and just get your get your life back in balance. Yes. Abundance. Abundance in all areas of your life. Security, stability, inner peace, love. And this is what wants to come in. There's messages for you. Your higher self is speaking to you. You're getting signs from your guides. They're speaking to you. Mm-hmm. It's just for you to take the time, make the time to get quiet and listen because there's messages coming in for you to create abundance for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing the first step for you is to get rid of this energy. For those of you that are still with this energy, Spirit wants you to know that you do not need to be with this person. No, there's better for you and you need to realize that within yourself. For those of you that have already left this energy, Spirit wants to help you uh, to go within and realize that you can create abundance for yourself and, and regain your stability and security and rebuild a solid foundation for yourself because you did not have a solid foundation with this person. Mm -hmm. This person, for some of you, was just living off of you. Yeah. Okay, Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, can I get a like? Uh, just so I know that it's hit, hitting home for someone. If it doesn't, that's cool too. Just may not be your reading another time. Click the notification button. Also, don't forget about the challenge, the competition that I have going on. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and leave a butterfly on any one of my posts, I will be checking them randomly and randomly picking uh, someone for a reading, a personal reading. So, Sagittarius, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.